Hello and welcome to Scott's Garage. Hey, it's new project day. So I think we're going to do this project in hopefully just one day. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long, but we are going to start a new project today. And I have sort of a hodgepodge of things on this bench that uh, I want to show you. The first one is an old saw blade or an old 10 inch saw blade. I think I took this out of my uh, table saw at some point. And then I have a bunch of clock components and I have, you know, the works, I have another works, I have some hands and some things like that. And I got to thinking, wouldn't it be a cool idea to make one of those really cool wall clocks out of a saw blade? I thought that'd be pretty easy. I could just, I already checked this works on the battery and I could put this, this glue this on the back and then this is like a hanger. I could also glue this on the back and then put my hands through. And then I have a bunch of st stencils and stuff here that I could probably use to, you know, have the, you know, one through 12 on the clock face and then uh, be able to hang it up. And that would be really fun. So um, let's get started and um, see what it takes to complete this. So I found that the back side of this saw blade um, is a lot nicer. It might be better um, for our, our clock face. This looks like it would take a lot. So I think what I'm going to do, I drew, I drew some kind of triangulation marks where I can put this on here. And I think we'll uh, do JB weld. So we'll hang it on the wall with that. And then I think we'll JB weld this as well onto there, onto the back, and that will, that will be our clock works and our hanger. And then I'll take this black washer maybe and put it there and we'll have some hands and um, then probably put some numbers here around, pick a, you know, pick which is the top and um, go from there. That's the plan. First thing I'm going to do is try and polish this up a little bit. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Um, I might just buff it out with some, some polishing compound or something like that. So let's try that right now. I'm not sure if this is actually going to work or not, but I'm going to give it a try. I hope this doesn't shoot the saw blade off into my foot or something like that. That would be really bad. <laughs> So here goes nothing. Looks kind of about the same, doesn't it? <laughs> Actually kind of looks a little bit worse. That's pretty neat. And my idea is to kind of cover this with a uh, clear coat, gloss clear coat. Once I get all of the numbers and everything on there, kind of polish it up and clear coat it off. All right, so what I did is I kind of made myself a grid, drew some lines here, top. I don't think I got it too bad. I have an assortment of stencils or what would you call them stickers but i don't have a seven do not have a seven so i'm gonna have to kind of make my own seven here so if i cut out the negative and then if i put it onto this bigger seven somehow like a glue stick or something and then kind of cut it out like that There. I have a seven. <laughs> cool. There we go. It's a little shinier, but I think once we, um, once I coat this whole thing with clear, I think we'll be good to go. Right on. <laughs> I like it. Neat. Okay. Let's spray it with some clear. Thank you. 
the next day. It looks pretty good. I mean, not too bad for just uh, hand placing the numbers. I mean, there's kind of a little bit of a big gap there, and these are a little close, but I think it's okay. So the next step, let's um, glue on this washer in the center, and um, then we'll be there to glue on a few other things. All right, I don't think I need too much on the back of this. And just a little bit, just enough to stick it on. So here's my idea. If I turn this over, and I just kind of eyeballed it to get it in the center. Looks good. Okay, so I've made some I've made some marks up here to kind of let me know where the center of the top is. And I think what I'm going to do is align this mark, this point right at the top of that circle. I think that's what I'm going to do right there. So hopefully I can do that pretty accurately. Okay, not too much. That's the problem is I put too much of this stuff on there. And then the last thing to glue in place would be this. Oh, and it's starting to harden up, so I better hurry. I kind of did. Hmm. So now we just wait for that to uh, harden, and um, I think we can put the put the battery in and the hands on next. It'll be fun. Much, much, much later. All right, we're coming down to the end of our clock project. This is really fun. It's the next day, and I can be sure that my uh, JB weld is all set up. It's very, very hard, and I think that's going to be able to hold that. Uh, clock up on the wall for many years. I thought, cool, I'll just uh, put the hands on and put the battery in and that'll be it. But what I was thinking is that if I put the hands on in just a haphazard manner, um, oh my, oh, look at that. Oh, that's too bad. If I put the, uh, put them on in a haphazard manner, then it could be like the, the minute hand would be at the 12 and then let's say it's eight o'clock, maybe the the hour hand isn't pointing exactly at the eight. Maybe it's pointed in between or something like that. So I thought maybe the way to do it would be to um, start off with them all pointed straight up. And then if they're all pointed straight up, then I put the battery in, set the time. It should, I would think, kind of work itself out, to be correct. I cleaned a little bit of excess uh, glue off there. And I'm just going to try to kind of fix the paint here on my washer. I guess I could repaint it, but I think maybe just a marks a lot. So I have a white side, and I think I start with the hour hand, and then the minute hand straight up on 12, and the second hand. So what I'm thinking is that if I put in the battery, it should start uh, cruising around there. Now I think the only thing left to do is to put it somewhere. This was a really fun project. All right, let's see where I can hang it. I think I'm just gonna put a, a nail. Work with our hanger. <laughs> hey, that looks pretty good. I like it. All right, well, I think that just about does it for our clock made out of an old saw blade project. Uh, had a lot of fun making it and maybe you guys want to make this as well. Hope you enjoyed watching this. I had a great time bringing it to you and we'll see you next time on Scott's Garage. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.